guns and money The shit has hit the fan Resurrect the Republic Truth Radio Broadcast on RBN. Um, I'm joined tonight by, of course, uh, the lovely Miss Lori Anderson, Eric, uh, uh, Eric Hughes, the Freedom Screamer, a courtroom observer, uh, asset in and of himself. Uh, I don't know if Chris Cave and Gary will be with us, but we are joined by John Lamb tonight with a special report out of Nevada of some dirty lawyers hired guns and thugs, and the money that drives them. Well, I, I don't even know I don't even know where to go. These, some of these things are going to be alleged. I'm just going to make a disclaimer in the beginning of the show. Uh, thank you for that, Lori, for re- reminding me about that. But as far as I'm concerned, they can kiss my rosy red cheeks, as far as of I'm course. concerned. Yeah. Uh, uh, at this point, with everything that I've heard coming out of Nevada and the the... the Brady violations. Oh, just one thing after another. So anyway, we're going to turn this over to John Lamb so that he can update us because he's got more of the details because he's on the ground there. I'm still in uh, behind enemy lines, so to speak. You know, just sticking with the drama here in in Oregon. Still uh, uh, somewhat detained, halfway out, halfway in. So, John. So there's some big news coming out here. It um, it, uh, actually... Very scary news, but it's news that needs to be put out. The government has been, uh, the prosecutors in this case, have been trying to hide stuff from day one in this case, as we all know, and and, and covering up tons and tons of information. Some of the biggest stuff, you know, in the last uh, few weeks have been like Dan Love's emails, the threat assessments, and all this kind of stuff that we haven't even totally unsealed yet. It's still, most of this stuff is sealed. But a whistleblower came forward in this case and just blew things wide open the last few days. And this was a whistleblower that's still keeping his name secret that worked uh, for the Department of Justice under uh, Steve Myrie. And he got fired because he wanted to disclose a lot of stuff that, um, that he felt that was a safety to a lot of people. And one of these things was a kill list. A list that has been um, was given oh, out for people to be assassinated and killed. Oh, you said um, he's kidding me. Oh, yeah. he's not kidding you. Trying to keep all this under seal. They're they're trying to cover it. They've, they've ordered all the defendants not to talk. But um, several sources have come forward and, and called myself and and told told what's going on, fearful for their lives. Fearful for what's going on. So this, some of this information I've been receiving firsthand, it's it's not uh, it's it's fact and the stuff that I've been gleaning anyway from the courtroom, just not knowing how far to go with it or what to say. And today we was able to actually uncover this. And this is multiple sources have been receiving this same information, not just one. And um, you no, know, I've I've heard that. that. I've heard that. Yes, it, it's been it's been spreading like wildfire, and. And it is a fact. It's a fact that this stuff is happening. That's why this case has come to a complete stop at this moment. That's why we're on the verge of a of a mistrial or or a dismissal, dismissal. of this case. And yeah. dismissal is what we want. We want a 100% dismissal. But Navarro mm-hmm. and all of them, they're scrambling trying to save this case any way they can. They want it to go forward, but they know there's no way it can go forward at this point. Not sure. with all the information. So what we're demanding, we're demanding that these courts on the 20th of December, when we go back, are unsealed. We're also demanding that they unseal all this redacted and sealed documents that they've been hiding from the public. Myself, I've hired an attorney. I'm filing a lawsuit myself uh, for the rights of all these, all this, you know, paperwork to be, be revealed to us. It, it's detrimental that we get it for the safety of so many Americans. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, what we're doing. Who do, who do they think they work for? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you know, uh, it's, 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 this, this, this is the only way we're going to protect people from being killed, is, is to get this out there. Well, they're really, they're really putting themselves out in the open. Uh, last night, John, I had uh, 
my my old co-host with me back on the radio, Bruce Ray Riggs, and uh, you know we were we laid it all out there of, of of how these courts have turned you know decade after decade, going back 150 years to right where we are today. You know it's it's almost like it's an illusion of constitutional uh, constitutionality in government. It's an illusion because we're starting to see right now secret proceedings. Sealed courtrooms, uh, mm -hmm. information withheld from the jury. Uh, I'm agents. resisting the urge to use the W word. Yes, yes, yes. I know that you are, and I appreciate that. Just for now, it's this. This is a witch's court. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? You're right. This is ridiculous. This is beyond insane. Uh, and fortunately, there's people like you, and there's enough interest in this trial that there's people in the face here. Because you know how many people across America deal with this kind of stuff on a daily basis, and they don't have that support, and they don't have that light shining in, they don't have those courtroom observers like we have in this trial. You know, I think God has really called us to to, to do something here. I, you know, I, I can, I am so grateful to you, John, uh, for everything that you've done. Uh, and everybody out there with their boots on the ground there in Nevada. So what about this kill list? What what, what details do you know about this? We know that um, the Bundy family was top on the list. We know that any supporters of theirs that got in the way were on that list also. And oh, that makes that me right too. Now, <laughs> yeah, it does. It, 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 you're one of them. You're one of them. And even as far back as, as um, when Tom Collins, that did anybody who came to Nevada better prepare and have funeral arrangements? This stuff has gone deep, and it's been a long Tom time. Collins, Tom Collins, Tom Collins, tell yes, tell tell our audience who Tom Collins is, so that they know. I know, but you tell them. He's a Clark County uh, a commissioner, county commissioner for Clark County, Nevada, and um, has has all kinds of um, reasons why that he, he would want to take this land along with Harry Reid and a bunch of others. So he's a Clark County public official. Yeah, public Undoubtedly. official. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell my Please. producer to, to make sure that I have a, a – you send a, a recording of this episode to me as quick as we can so we can get it out to Mr. Collins because he's he's going to be delivered it to it forthwith. That exactly. bastard. Unbelievable. Kill, go ahead. Go out there and kill the Patriots. And if anybody gets in your way, kill them too. Kill them all. But dear God, who's the real terrorist here? They have yeah, right. cows. There's, there's no reason why they needed snipers, and everybody's wondered why the whole time. There was no, no threat. The threat assessment said there was no threat, but still they had snipers. They had, they had um, military-looking men Dan, under Dan Law that didn't even have proper uniforms on. We couldn't even tell who they were. Um, uh -huh. yeah. they, they looked just like somebody in the Desert Storm or Iraq. Oh, fighting against crooked uh, lawyers, yes. crooked lawyers, hired guns and dirty money. Exactly, one hundred percent. And we still we cannot forget Nadia Ahmed, one of the very prosecutors right now in the case. She was working for the Department of Interior back then, and she was at the Bundy Ranch. She was right involved mm -hmm. before April twelfth, and here she's prosecuting the the the, the, the defendants as we're speaking, and she was involved in it. So she had to know about this kill list back then. She had to know. She had Dan Love working for him all the way back then. This has gone deep. And the very so best deep. part about it is one of their very own that works for the Department of Justice decided to speak up. He had enough. And this individual decided to speak up and tell the truth. And that's, Open that's, the next that's deal. what's big. I love it. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. So, the fact that it's, it's coming out, at least, is beautiful. The whole thing is disgusting, but you know, we're we're <laughs> this is the what we've this is what we've been dealt, and we're dealing with it as best we can. Amazing. You're listening to Republic Broadcasting Network because you can handle the truth. Truth. truth.